My name is Onye Ubanatu, um, CEO, creative director of My Passion, My Life. I'm a documentary filmmaker and uh, consider myself a social entrepreneur and also a creative entrepreneur as well. Uh, what I do most of the times is use creative platforms to train or encourage young people who are very passionate about the creative industry, you know, um, not just showing them how to interpret their creativity, but basically giving young people opportunities to turn their passion into uh, a business or an enterprise. These things I created from just personal experiences growing up. I realized that um, there's a major challenge that cuts across young people at the downstream of the economy. You know, once you're young, people don't trust you that much to give you opportunities. So you have to create them for yourself. The reason why I encourage people to create stuff for themselves is it gives you opportunity to have things to show for, um, things uh, to show that you can do stuff as a creative person. So we, we, we use that to come up with tailored solutions to community and social challenges. For example, malaria. What causes malaria? Simple mosquito and all of that. So what we do is we try to go to communities. We film the problems. Um, of course, people tell us the experiences with the disease and then we find a solution using tailored visuals. Um, so that inspires us to go into doing a lot of documentaries, um, you know, basically documentaries, per se. Alright, Onye is done very well for himself. He will be very quick to tell you, you know, I'm, I didn't go to like a university and anything. Uh, I don't know what that means because, I mean, you, you can't come this far and that will still be like a concern. There are people who have degrees that don't even know who they are. And from that person who was in that space where you just wanted to learn so much. You've built a reputation for yourself. You've built every this business that you have now that takes you to every corner of the globe. Um, someone like Onye was important to me to have on this project. So just in case you think, well, I didn't finish school, that is why I can just point out, the, <laughs> no excuse, please. Like, get back to work, you know? So that's why I have him on the project because he's, He's beaten like some impossible odds to be where he is. Africa's biggest book project. I am a graduate now, what? Uh, by Naomi Lucas. I think it's a fantastic project. Uh, when I started as just you know, simply as a creative person, I never had, no one actually gave me the opportunity to translate you know what i do into an enterprise or a business platform and and then i realized that 
I mean, looking back, there are lots of mistakes that I made. You know, just trying out stuff as someone who just had burning passion for different things. But here's a book that addresses issues that cut across um, employability, um, employer-employee uh, relationship, um, a, a book that opens up a discourse to things that people would normally shy away from, a book that, um, that really gives you the confidence to say, look, I belong to a labor market that is productive and these are ways that I can act in accordance to being a better person with whatever that I have or I know, be it your university degree or just the raw talents that, that you have. Um, you know, there, there is a major problem in the society right now. You have a lot of people wondering about not knowing why they are unproductive. Or people would say, I, you know, I'm through with school and this is my fourth year and I'm still at home. You have people going to churches and spiritual places praying for their children and things. But the, the, the challenges that they face are just tiny, minute um, ignorance to detail that will make you a better person or that will give you an edge in being competitive in the job market. So this project comes with a lot of these uh, this solution to some of these um, challenges that we have. So I think um, for someone to actually sit down and then, com uh, you know, uh, translate or commit to a project like this, I think, I think uh, it's birthed out of passion as to, you know what, I think there's a market here, let's make money. So there's a challenge and this is a solution to, to the challenges and I think it's a great project. Part of the big picture for me is to have a network of young professionals who are very passionate about creative deliveries and things. Now, part of my daily ethics is, uh, I mean, like I have a lot of young people that I mentor and try to inspire on a daily basis using social media as well directly. And the, you would, I try as much as possible not to talk about technical stuff, like how to run a camera, how to light, how to sound, how to do interviews, how to do this and blah, blah, blah. No, I try as much as possible to give you reasons why you must appreciate the importance of a proper structure. Your foundation is key. Anybody can run a camera. Even my grandmother can pick up a um, manual and start pressing record and stuff. But without a proper structure, without the proper ethics of what it takes to be a professional, without the proper ethics of what it takes to be accountable to yourself, you know, you probably not stand the test of time. So, the big one of the big pictures for us my, myself and my team is to create um, a network of young people who are birthed in structured creative thinking you know an enterprise and um, that's part of it having a film school like most people would say uh, yeah it's a great idea but i would rather have a school or a platform or a structure where people can go to and what we talk about is what it takes to, 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 to carry your creative thinking or your creative abilities into creative enterprise. Knowing what I know now, um, my advice to anybody starting out is this. There's no such thing as a perfect time to start. Now is the perfect time to start. See, eliminate that fear Eliminate the excuses, start, invest in yourself, read books, go to people who have done stuff that you're looking uh, you know, to go into or to do. Just ask them questions, they'll show you a few, one or two things and before you know it, boom, you already started. So my advice would be, listen, there's no such thing as the perfect time to start. I'm waiting for the perfect time to start. Now is the perfect time. In whatever you do, think about the fact that 10 years from now, people would ask you questions or you will ask yourself questions. So accountability is very important. So if, you, if you're thinking of starting up a business or some kind of thing, think about making yourself accountable. So we're talking accounting, your expenses, you know, um, your business name, there's something called CAC, you know, all of these things. Take all these fundamentals and apply it to whatever ideas that you want to start. I think it's, 
things like that will give you a better platform, a solid foundation 10 years from now, you know, when you look back. My experience recording today, uh, I'd say, uh, <laughs> totally strange from what I already know or have been part of. But um, I, I, I won't lie, at some point I was a little bit nervous, you know, because being in front of a microphone and the camera is really not my thing. I enjoy being behind the camera, but when it comes to public speaking, it's a different person entirely. But in front of a camera, eh, 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 eh I don't like it. I mean, like, I, I do photography as well but it will surprise you to know that I don't I hardly have portraits even if I take a picture of myself it takes me like 10 years to edit it to get the picture out because I want to make sure that it's perfect but um the experience here has been fun um started out with uh, I mean I showed up I didn't get any VIP treatment like I, I even arrived before the before the voice director you know and then uh, there was no red carpet no hand oh, oh no I got a handshake at the door from Naomi uh, and then of course they apologize for on behalf of the crew. Uh, my voice direction session with Remy was on point. I, I thought, okay, here's the thing. I like my voice. I like the way I sound. Uh, even if nobody tell me how to tell myself, I will worry boy. So for me to reach this level to talk like this, I mean, it's a massive achievement to, you know, so I like the way I sound and I'm, I'm not very conscious of it, but I appreciate the gift you know, uh, to be able to speak to anybody. I mean, I recall some time back, a client said to me, said to another client at the referral, that look, this guy, if you want one man crew that will go into any country, speak to any president whatsoever, get you fantastic material in return, that's the guy. And, and I was like, oh, why? I have to say, he speaks well and he carries himself well. With that in mind, you know, I had this thing that, you know, I, I have it all covered, you know, I don't read the thing, you know, tears, you tell everyone clap for me, I go, oh, when Remy, <laughs> when Remy begin to mark the paper, I'm off here, catch me, you know, started doing modulation, come down, go up, you know, like words that sound alike, you have to take one up and bring one down. And then dude brought to my attention how to categorize the different paragraphs. Um, Remy is just very, he's very deep and he communicates this level of depth with a high level of simplicity that makes work very interesting and things so that the voice direction was very uh, informative for me and I enjoyed every uh, session. Naomi joined in at some point and asked about my view, you know, um, additions, subtractions and things which I quite admire about, about her approach to um, her book and the narrators, the chapters and the narrators. Um, she's given the content but the narrators do have the flexibility to bringing the experience into um, the narration and then of course we had a very wonderful chat and she made me understand um, one of the most important factor of that chapter which is to open a discourse um, amongst uh, among students or uh, people with regards to the topic the inferiority and superiority complex issues as to hnd orders and you know university degree um, holders and i thought that was very deep you know um, so that, that was really, really informative for me as a human being or as an entrepreneur. And then we went on to the voicing and that of course is handled by KD for Shizzle, you know, my brother from another mother. You know, we, 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 we built this chemistry, this, this um, fantastic working relationship amongst ourselves behind the camera from the author, um, Naomi, to the um to the crew to the logistics staff you know it every time we assemble to shoot it's, it's usually fun today which is one of those moments and you know could hear the loud laughs and, and things so yeah my experience today is great my name is Omie Ubalatu and you're listening to i am a graduate now what <laughs>